thank you to the MBC of uh, ours in uh, Seoul and also the, the university for providing this opportunity to, to speak to you people. Uh, basically, for many people, uh, mountaineering is a less uh, uh, preferred job. But in this sport, what we have come up has so many uh, purpose, so many themes included. So it's about a journey between two ends. Because I was just coming from the, the uh, previous talk and Asad was telling me how South Korea has progressed and how the achievements uh, they, they got. So this is similar story between how I started, why I started and where, what we did. So it's between two journeys to end. When I started, I was 15 years old. I, we are from a very remote village and mostly the, power, the source of income is uh, hiding and farming and tourism. So I start working with the tourists. I don't know how to operate this one. I, can somebody help me? So we are from Pakistan and in Pakistan we are, you can see the red circle, that's Shimshal village in Upper Hunza, Gilgit, Pakistan. So the village is almost 3,300 meters above sea level and it's the frontier village. Around the, mount, uh, the village we have a numerous number of mountains ranging between 5,000 to 7,000 and 8,000 meters. So as I mentioned, our village basically is a herding and farming. Uh, we have the source herding and farming. So we grow yaks and sheep, that is the main source. And, but the people are so much advanced and they send the, uh, their children to school. We have a very beautiful culture, as most of the time you see on, on the television, bomb blasts and so much paid about Pakistan. But Pakistan is so much colorful and so much beauty. So this is the culture from uh, our village. As most of the time people think uh, women are not allowed. So it's not only Samina Beg. Uh, there are so many women in Pakistan. Uh, even we have the Prime Minister, first female Prime Minister. We had speaker, female speaker. And then so many politicians. And we have sports, uh, females in sports and even in the army. So this is the beautiful side that hardly people see. And as we are from the mountains, so this is uh, uh, Baltoro Glacier, uh, which hosts most of the uh, four 8,000 meter peaks out of uh, 14 in the world. So you can see Pakistan is so much less. So this is K2, the magnificent K2, which is the second highest mountain in the world. And also, Savage Mountain and also called Mountain of Mountaineers. And this is Nanga Parbat, the killer mountain. And you can see uh, the beauty we have in Pakistan is just matchless. And showing you, uh, and this is how people uh, even uh, all over the world come and conquer the great mountains in, in the Karakoram, Hindukush and the Himalayas, the lesser Himalayas. So a short glimpse of Pakistan, which can show how beautiful is Pakistan. So this is Pakistan monument. We have four provinces, and these are the uh, main historical pictures that I included in the slide. Again, you can see what we have actually, rather the picture on the television. So when I started, I was 16 years old. I mentioned in my first uh, 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 slide, started from 120 rupees shoes, which is almost one dollar. And then finally, the journey from one and a half dollar to one thousand dollar shoes. So when I started, I had no proper equipment. Uh, you can see the shoes and the clothes. It's absolutely inappropriate for mountaineering. But what I had was commitment, dedication to do something different. I worked as a low porter. I worked as a cook helper. I worked as a high altitude porter. But as I saw the people coming from all over the world to climb mountains, 
and even they had women as well. So I thought, these people are coming from all over the world. Why, why not our local people coming to conquer these mountains? Why we are not exploring what we have in Pakistan? Even we have three mountain ranges, the junction point, and still we have not, and no women. So I said, okay. I worked high porter, and one, one of my expedition, I went to this village called Arando in, in Pakistan. And I went in and saw the situation, it is one room, and the kids were, you can see in the picture, very similar when I studied. I didn't go to any uh, English medium school, I didn't go to any uh, lecturer, lecturer's institute, I studied truly in private uh, uh, privately, but I didn't give up, I, I did my graduation. But I had a very similar beginning, so I thought, wh why not? And I went into the people and said, I'm going to build a school here. And they laughed at me and said, you are yourself a porter, how come you're going to build a school here? So that was in 2005. And after four years, in 2009, I didn't give, I worked. From 2006, I started working. I said, I have to get women involved in the sport. Even I was telling the story to Samina that when you grow big, we will start climbing together mountains. And my main mission was to engage women in outdoor sports, in adventure sport. So, Sadia Shajil from Lahore uh, joined me on uh, my first expedition to a 7,000 meter peak. I went to the same village and I said, I have still my promise in my mind. And they said, because the situation, the condition in the school was the same. So they said, okay, we, we have a little hope because you are now the expedition leader. And in 2010, from 2006, I started to engage youth and women, and the ultimate goal was 2013. But as we go to uh, primary, nursery, primary, middle, and high school, similarly, we had to go different levels to achieve our goals. So, and in 2010, I started Pakistan Youth Outreach with the objective to promote auto sports in Pakistan and also involve women in this sport because outdoor sports and winter sports has great uh, uh, scope in the Western world. So at the same time, Samina was very able uh, to start and join me on expedition. So we, uh, through Pakistan Youth Outreach, we have these activities, we train and educate young people about mountaineering, nature and uh, adventure leadership. So in 2010, uh, we had this first expedition to a 6,400 meter peak. And Samina, when started it, she had the similar conditions what we, I had, with no proper equipment, but we both had a sheer determination of doing different. And when we started together, we said, okay, normally people think um, in fact, about Pakistan that women are not allowed to go to work. But we had all these politicians and uh, even prime ministers. So I said, now that is elite, elite people job because they just get it from their sisters. But we said, no, we are from village. Okay, let's set an example of equality and women empowerment. So let's do it together. Now today we are standing on this podium together because that was the main, main purpose of our mountain climbing. Because we wanted to spread this message of equality for women and men. And break that barrier if some people thinking, no, women are not allowed or it's a male-dominated society. So after climbing with less equipment, less resources, we climbed and summit the peak, the 6,400 meter peak for the first time. And in, in honor, the villagers uh, renamed the peak Samina Peak. Because for the first time, she summit this mountain. So from the beginning, our purpose was equality, women empowerment, and of course, the other part was tourism too. And then we have to show how strong women it is. It's not only women in Pakistan, maybe there are women in other parts of the world a little oppressed. So all people think they are tender, they cannot do. So in the summer, she climbed a 6,400 meter peak, and then we said, let's test the stamina. The courage, and we, we had first Pakistani winter expedition for women. And you can see it's minus 35 or even minus 40, and Samina Beg survived this condition. So that will prove that women and men has no differences. The only thing we need is encouragement of each other. And then as I said, what we can do, life is all about learning progress. So when I started as a porter, I had in my mind I should have my 
company one day. I should have my own company. That is evolution of human. So after maybe eight years, I established my company, a traveling agency, Karakoram Expedition. So this is how we should set a set a, a, a target in our lives that what we are going to achieve. And also how to benefit other people. Most of the time we blame our government so that this is not provided, this is not provided. But have we ever tried to do something different within ourselves? Like mashallah, I learned that most of the students are here, PhD students from Pakistan. That's, that's wonderful. And I hope that they will go back to Pakistan and if there are 50 PhD students, there will be 500 PhD students next level. So anyhow, this was the achievement that I wanted. And we continue, we prepared ourselves. Because our objective, our target was Mount Everest in 2013. So from 2010, we had to train, we had to practice. And this was uh, 2011, we climbed a virgin peak, and named and unclimbed with Polish and German friends. And there were women also. So Pakistani women was there too. And then we climbed the peak, we summited it, and we, we named it. We named it Kuhi Baroba in local language. In English it means Mount Equality. Because we just didn't want to climb mountains for pleasure. There are many people they climb mountains for pleasure. There are many sports. And people ask why you, why you climb mountains. I ask why people play football or cricket, soccer or tennis. These are sports, but these are reflection of a society. How strong, how objective, how brave the society the youth are. So we are one example from Pakistan. Our youth is so amazing. We have a young um, diplomat here, and I have met many young diplomats when we went to the seven continents. So Alhamdulillah, it's so wonderful. The youth are so positive, energetic, and progressive. Anyhow, so it continued, that, that you see the gender equality we had uh, on our every expedition. So this was uh, a 7,000 uh, meter peak uh, in 2012. And this was the main objective. This was goal of our mountaineer. This was the purpose. And you see, we are the first Pakistan gender equality Mount Everest expedition. And let me tell you, we use Facebook, we use Twitter, we use blogs. I raised all these funds through the social networking. I use these as a tool of progress, rather wasting my time. I raised funds. And you remember I had a promise with this village, seven years, nine years back. And I fulfilled it. I built a school in this village. And this is the opening picture of this small school. It's, it's, it, I started as a primary school, but this year uh, we expanded and it's now a middle school in, and will educate 250 to 300 children in the next two, three years. <laughs> this is the last picture. Now we call about, talk about gender equality. You see, about human, human behavior. This is Samina Bey. On one of our training, uh, in winter, look at the, the, the face and the frost on her face and boot. This is how we train if we want to achieve something different. And look, this is me. So see, both of us had the same situation. There was no difference. And she, only thing she required was support, encouragement. And she proved it. She did what I did. So there is no difference. These were all the trainings that we had for Mount Everest. And this was the, the press conference before going to Mount Everest. And people thought, oh, she's so small, how possible she is going to climb Mount Everest? They didn't know that the success comes from the brain. If you have commitment from your head, nothing can stop you. And we embarked on the expedition. And this is Nepal. And the Outfitter gave us these scarves of blessing for safety. And then one thing we should know that it's not about only Pakistan. Every, every country, every youth, if they do something good, they should be proud of it. And then because the 60th anniversary we were representing Pakistan and the women and brothers and sisters, siblings, and then we had these shirts and we said, we are doing good because most of the news were pain, bombing, blast, killing about Pakistan. We said, we are, because thousands of people came to climb Everest on its 60th anniversary. And we said, we are from Pakistan. 
and we love our country because we are doing good things and each of you should be proud if you are doing something great. So we continue to join. Thank you. After eight days of trek, we got to the base camp of Mount Everest. And this is a puja ritual of Buddhists uh, because they, they offer some blessing, the verses, and then they, because of the safety, to climb the mountain. And this is the training camp out of puja. You see, it's nothing easy in life. You people have achieved, you know, you know how to work hard. If you want to be a PhD student, if you want to do something different, how hard work you need to do. And this is how if you want to climb a mountain, you have to put physical, emotional, mental, to prepare to face every challenge in life. And that is me, and this is Samina Beg. And you can see the first picture with the frost, and this picture with the same, same uh, difficult level. So she did what I did. So there is no difference. This is the proven fact that there is no difference between men and women. Only we need to encourage each other. And then this is Mount Everest Base Camp. We were so happy because we were there. We, just two of us. There are many people from all over the world. And we were very blessed and very lucky and very proud to be there on this occasion. And then the climbing started. This is Kambu Ice Fall. Uh, normally you have to climb through the night because even everything you have to climb. Very accurate planning unit. If you need to succeed in life, you need to ha have a very proper planning what you need to do. You must know about your achievement, about your hardship and the counter to the hardship to get it solved. So this is how we climb in the dark, in the night at 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock in the morning so that the ice is frozen and it's safe. And you see, in life, these are reflections. We take mountaineering as a metaphor in life. Because if you want to achieve something great, we have to go through great challenges. Rather simple challenges. To achieve something remarkable, you have to go through great challenges. So this is how when you climb mountains, you go, it's not about win and lose, it's about death and life. And then how you plan it, even having the faith in Allah, uh, you have to make proper decision. So this is the Kambu Ice Fall, and then this is the Lutse face of Mount Everest. So you can see the sheer difficult level here, and Samina Beg is here, you can see, she's climbing the Lutse face toward Kentri on Mount Everest. And there we are. When we had the t-shirt, we had the flag. Because we wanted to show that we are from Pakistan. Because negativity, we had to represent something that we, we are from here. Because the goggles, the hood, it's hard to recognize you. So we had to put the flags on our dawn so that people can know these are from Pakistan. So this is Camp 3 of Mount Everest. Uh, Samina became first to achieve this height. Even people thought she wouldn't make it to base camp or even to camp one. She came to, she reached camp three. So this is 60th anniversary, many people climb Everest. Because in many, out of 7 billion people, it's ultimate goal to reach on top of the world. Because if you stand on top of the world, this is a something amazing achievement. You fly at 29, 30,000 feet and you look mountains just across. And then if you climb and stand on top of the world, definitely it's something amazing. And it is similar to any other achievement, you know, in life. It's not just you take it, a reflection in your life, what you can achieve. So anyhow, this is how people climb uh, on the 60th anniversary towards the sun. So this is Camp 4, which is also called the South Coal. And then we got there because people thought, I mean, I may not get to the summit. And they said, no, let's make a picture and show that we can reach to the top of it. Uh, Mount Everest. Even we reached at this altitude. And then we had the t-shirt with us here. Yeah, we were very happy to have the t-shirt with us all the time. Okay, from now here, I give the mic to Samina. Equality is so important. Hello and assalamu alaikum to everyone. Thank you so much for coming here. Uh, and thank you for giving us the opportunity to meet all of you. Um, so I think uh, you all um, heard our, about our story uh, from the beginning to here. So let's start from here. So this is uh, the very famous Hillary step of Mount Everest. 
Um, this is the most tough and challenging part, I would say, because you have climbed all the way to Hillary Step and you have lost all your energy. So now you have to push yourself to reach the top of uh, Mount Everest. But uh, I want to tell you a story about uh, my brother, actually, because uh, my brother told you that we our uh, expedition was for gender equality and women empowerment. So we climbed till Camp 4 for gender equality and women empowerment. So now my brother has to prove that how to empower women. Because most of people talk about empower women empowerment, but in real, it's sometimes just in the air. So now my brother decided to turn back only 248 meters short from the summit to let me go on my own to the top of the world. And to prove that Pakistani women are as capable as others, they need only opportunity and uh, uh, they need opportunity. So my brother turned back and uh, I was on my own to uh, go to the top, to the uh, top of Mount Everest. So this is the picture of the summit with our banner. First Pakistani gender equality expedition Mount Everest. So this was a proud moment for me, uh, and especially when it comes about the green flag, the Pakistani flag, this was absolutely a proud moment for me because I was representing Pakistani women on the top of the world. Because it's a perception about Pakistan that Pakistanis are oppressed, they, they, they don't allow their daughters, their sisters to go out of their houses. But here, as a Pakistani woman, I was standing on the top of the world and a hoisting Pakistani flag and representing Pakistani women. This was absolutely proud moment for me. I was really, really emotional. I was literally crying. But I was very happy that I made it to the top because it was not just uh, Samina Beg, it was Pakistani women. So now, um, going to the top is easy. I mean, you have energy. But when you reach the top and you have to go back all the way down to base camp, for that you need lots of energy. And here, um, it's lots of fish and we are going down. It was the tough part, you know. You have to really, really struggle to reach uh, base camp. I would cut her here and, and then add, because normally people thought she's tender, women are tender, but she climbed for 34 hours continuously with all these big, big bags and boots and clothes. So you just imagine from Camp 3 to Camp 4 to the summit and all the way back to Camp 2. So that is something, a very amazing thing in a 34 hours continuously climbing the one of the So that is the power of it. Thank you very much. And this is uh, the Kumbu Ice Fall, uh, which is very, very dangerous part. If you may one wrong step, you will go. Yeah. So, and we come to Nepal. Back. So this is the um, society. This is the uh, organization of Nepal. They, they heard that Pakistani women has climbed Mount Everest, and they were really so happy. Uh, uh, and they uh, give me um, uh, this certificate and appreciation. So this is the picture from there. And this is the uh, Pakistani embassy in Nepal. They honored us and uh, they gave us a, a target. As I mentioned, it's not just two of us to glorify us, what, what, who we are. It's just the achievement a common youth does in Pakistan and they get the recognition. So this is the recognition of the achievement rather Mirzali and Samina Bey. So the embassy, our embassy in Nepal host us, they admired us, they recognized us because normally people think you will be shot, shot down, you will be, you know, thrown here, thrown there, pay, pay things. You know, Pakistani women are not allowed to do this. So this is how the appreciation she got. This is the reflection that Pakistan, even women are so much supported. So these are the reflection of the appreciation. And when we arrived in Islamabad, the chief minister of uh, Gilgit Baltistan and the, the, the president of Alpine Club, they came to receive us at the, at, uh, at the airport in Islamabad. 
So these are, we can show you that it's not that people discouraged her what she did. People encouraged us, even from a common man to the government officials, at the highest level even. So the highest level, that is how normal. You can see a youth has done this and then the prime minister, the president invites them and encourages them. So this is the, the president of Pakistan at that time, Mr. Asif Zaitari, uh, gave us this uh, opportunity to meet him. He encouraged, he allowed, uh, he lauded what she did or we did. And then we met the, the prime minister of Pakistan. So this is how most people think um, women are discouraged, you know, in Pakistan. But these are all the uh, uh, proofs that women is always, always supported in Pakistan. So now we have done Mount Everest, okay, the highest point. And people say, okay, what next now? Life is all about progress, you know. You have to plan accordingly what you can do next. It's all about evolution. So, and then we came back and then they said, what do you want to do? So we said, we are going to climb the seven highest mountains in seven continents because nobody has done it before from Pakistan. And then we said, okay, we met the, the Serena Hotel in Islamabad, they host a meeting with the ambassadors of uh, these countries where the mountains uh, exist. So we had the ambassador from US, Nepal, Russia, Indonesia, and Argentina. And we had this meeting, what do you want to do? Why do you want to climb these mountains? We said, normally people think Pakistani women are oppressed, they cannot do anything. Even we had the prime minister, we had the jet fighter pilot, we had the scuba diver, we had everything. Still they can't do it. Okay. We are going to climb the seven highest mountains in seven continents. And in eight months, not two years, three years, under eight months, and they say, no, you can't do it. She cannot do it. It's very good because each month you have, you have to be on different continent with different weather. So now we, we have to take the challenge. Life is all about taking challenge. So we said, we are going, no problem. So this is the launching of Adventure Diplomacy. We said, okay, you climb these mountains for what? We said, Adventure Diplomacy. Connect people to mountains. We go climb these mountains and tell people, come and climb our mountains. Because we have three mountain ranges. If you have one, we have three. So, this is the launching. And of course, gender equality and women empowerment. And then this is the launching of the, the project. The ambassadors of uh, different countries. You can see the flags behind. And then we started from South America. And then you can see life is all about challenges. So we briefly we talk, say we have to go through uh, weather, different weather. It's very hot, it's very cold, it's snowing, it's windy, it's raining. So we have to face every, every bit of the mountain. And when you climb a mountain, you go through six different... Uh, there are six different kind of things that can kill you. Number one is avalanche. In avalanche you can die, rock can hit you, you can be killed, you can fall in a crevasse, you can have a blizzard, you know, wind, you can have frostbite because of the cold temperature. And then the foremost is high altitude sickness. So there are six, but you say this is the one phase of women that women has done. We did it together. So this is the top of Mount Aconcagua of South America. So seven is, two is done out of seven, and then from there we had to go to Antarctica. This is non-existent for human. This is a frozen continent. And I don't know if any Pakistani had gone there before. So we two, of, we two with some other foreign climbers in special flight, we landed at Union Glacier. The plane lands on ice. This massive, massive ice, and the plane lands on ice. So from there, and on some mountains you have porters, they carry your load. But on these mountains, you have to carry your food, your equipment. And then Samina, she climbed, maybe some people said, no, she had porters, so she could climb. Now she had to do it on her own, this small, small girl. And Mount Vincent in Antarctica, it took us two weeks to climb and every, it's around the earth, daylight, it's always bright, you know, and you have to climb all, and almost 10 to 12 hours, and then, and then it's all, almost freezing all the time. So this is, you see the, the, the storm, and we got to the top of Mount Vincent, which is the highest mountain in Antarctica.
I'm sorry because I'm taking longer. So this is the picture of Mount Kilimanjaro. People go for running on this mountain. But to, to achieve your target, you need to, to list down everything that what can happen on the mountain. A smart manager, a risk manager can do it. So we have all our mountain equipment with us. Our warm coats, our warm shoes, our goggles and warm gloves. So we said, no problem, even if it's, it's the easiest mountain is running in the park because it's a dry mountain, but because we were prepared. And when we start the climb, it was raining. And then you see, this is Kilimanjaro. Normally it's all dry and it's sunny, people climb this mountain in t-shirt. So you can see the snow on this mountain. And then we were very smart. From the high camp when we start the climb, the snowstorm started. And all those t-shirts and jogging shoes, they just turned back because almost Helmut Thurbeck was taking them. So you can see this trek peak, we had our down suits and down coat because we were prepared, we had the plan that anything can happen. So it's similarly in other professions, if you want to achieve your dreams, you, can, you have to plan, proper planning. So the less chance of failure. If we had known these down hoops, we would have never climbed Mount Kilimanjaro. So as I mentioned earlier in my previous talk, our society is so beautiful, our world is so beautiful. Different color is similar, a garden where you have so much color for flowers. So this is indeed